Greetings wonderful people, my name is Ivan, and today I'll try to translate my game from English to Russian using Google Translator, and compare the results to my own interpretations. I rarely mention that, but for the last half a year I've been working as an English to Russian translator for 37 games, a game developer and publisher. Also, just recently I've translated a hardcore platformer by Jonas Tyroller called To Build Your Snail, and you obviously know about this game, so don't forget to wishlist it on Steam. The link is in the description. And I'm doing this experiment because there are certain stereotypes that Google is only capable of producing fuzzy translations of poor quality. However, I noticed that just recently, maybe even this year, machine translation by Google became much, much better than it used to be. I started by picking 10 random lines from the localization file. I put them all in the table so that we can easily compare the results later. I'm actually pretty happy with the lines random.org helped me pick, because among them we have a couple of super simple lines that contain between 1 and 5 words and can be used out of context. One encrypted phrase that obviously the machine wouldn't and shouldn't really understand. One long line that consists of two sentences that perfectly fit each other, you don't need to know any further information to interpret them. Finally, there are two sentences that require a translator to either know the context behind them or even to come up with one. I translated and transliterated those lines myself so that you can read them on your own. Then I translated them again, this time using Google. Next, I compared the two lines with each other and highlighted the words or strings that are different from mine and also the interpretations that are completely the same. In the end, we can see that the first two and the last two lines are completely identical to mine. They are very short and pretty straightforward because they are not really ambiguous and there aren't many possible meanings for them. A comma is missing in the first line, я рад, что ты здесь, but it's one of those times where it's probably grammatically correct to write the sentence the way I did, but pretty much everyone omits a comma anyway. Next up we have a word start. It's a pretty ambiguous word, so in games we understand that it means start the game, начать игру in Russian. And I would even consider putting this option into the game and I placed it next to the first option. Google, however, picked a word that means beginning, начало, which isn't really the same as the verb to begin, начать, that I used. Later, I didn't put the encrypted line into the translator and instead I just wrote I love you and received back the same Я люблю тебя. It's a very common phrase, so there's nothing surprising about that. Bring a bat sounds like bring a killed bat to me, while in the game it should be alive. On the other hand, I'm surprised that Google didn't translate the sentence as bring a baseball bat, which would sound as принеси биту, not принеси летучую мышь. And it would probably make much more sense because Honestly, how often do you bring someone bats in the meaning of an animal? In the double jump sentence, Google failed because it doesn't care about previous or next sentences in the text. It says классическая, which is what you say about feminine objects or creatures or whatever. And in this case, tuxedo is a masculine word, so you use классический. I even experimented and put a comma instead of a full stop in this line, and the классическая miraculously became классический, as it should be. I used the line other to group things together in the game credits. Google is almost correct here, but it used a word that we apply to living creatures, not to fonts and links that I have in Greenland. Finally, the phrase I don't need it for my revolver anyway is taken out of context and you won't ever guess what this line is about and thus Google couldn't handle it either. Instead, it cleverly put it in the sentence instead of he, which should be used with quiver that this line is talking about. It's of course up to you to decide whether you find the quality of translations done by Google acceptable for your project or not. I am 100% confident that the text will be understandable, but it probably won't sound good and there will be minor mistakes all over the place. But on the other hand, you don't really pay a single penny for that. And if you are a translator yourself, I can say that Google excels at translating single words out of context. It can provide you with a ton of synonyms and even suggest some context itself. 
However, don't ever blindly rely on using just one tool. Always try to find multiple sources if you are uncertain about something. And if you have a game or some general text that you'd like to translate from English to Russian or vice versa, contact me, I'm up for the adventure. In a nutshell, what are my thoughts about Google Translator? Does it provide lively text and work well with context? Well, no, I wouldn't say so. Is it horrifyingly close to perfection? Yes, yes it is. Am I afraid of the future? Yes, but there's one thought that comforts me. I just think that there are tons of us ordinary people on the planet. If we become completely replaced by AI and robots, there will be billions of us. I think that we will either all be disposed of and nothing will matter anymore, or we'll find a way to deal with that and adjust to the new terms of life. Either way, none of us will be alone in this hole. If you are still watching this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.